Black Diamonds, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the um, Hourglass Ambient Blushes. I have four of them and I I really like them. They have the, um, the nice buttery texture as the as the powders do the ambient lighting powers I believe that's what they're called yeah these things here and they're just so buttery and smooth and section they glide on so well so let me show you the four that I have this one is diffused heat I like that one that's nice I like them all but I do have one that is a favorite this one is Dim Infusion. I hope you guys can see the coral that swirls in there. So it's like the, the blush is infused with the ambient powder. And this one is Radiant Magenta. Isn't it gorgeous? Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And then my favorite, the one that I use so much, is Mood Exposure. And this is more of the, the mauve kind of color, the mauve plum color. And this is by far my favorite. I've been, this one has actually stayed out of the drawer in the past two weeks. I've been using this blush so much. I really, really like the way it can build up. Well, you can build up all blushes, but this one is such a subtle even I've and this is like this is me building it up and it's such a subtle color and it just feels so good I mean just the texture of it and um, I'm not pretty good with the swatches and everything I don't know see I'm not I'm horrible with the swatches I'm not you know I'm not even gonna go there with you guys with these swatches for these um there are swatches on other channels and I really really like the way this blush feels the way it goes on it's just it's just a really nice color it's not that pow in your face but it is that flush of color now I have worn the other ones and the other ones are the same they're nice they're buildable they feel delicious I mean they are just so buttery smooth this one is definitely boom in your face <laughs> I wore this once and I was like whoa okay and um a little trick why is he wah, wah. a little trick is if you're putting on a blush and you find that the blush is boom in your face if you're having foundation on just take the brush that you use to put your foundation on and just stipple it over that area that'll kind of dim the uh the blush so it's not in your face um and that's even a trick i do sometimes when i don't want that full face look i want almost natural you hear my kids? Almost natural kind of look. I will put on a light blush. Um, usually the Inglot blush. I don't know what number it is. Like 24 or something like that. Which is more of a peachy color. And I will take my foundation blush. And I won't add any more product to it. And I'll stipple it over the blush area. And then it looks more like it's coming out. As opposed to sitting on top. So that's something that you could. I just got pigment all over my hands. They're like shimmery all over the place. Now these products you can get them at hourglass.com. Or you can get them at Sephora. There are two more to the collection. But these were the ones that really drew me in. Especially this mood exposure. This was the first one that I got. And it, it took me a minute before I got the other three. But this is the one that caught my eye. And this is the one that I have been using over and over again so honestly i would say if you get any of them get this one i think this is a gorgeous color it's not that boom but it's it's very subtle in its own right and yet does beg the what are you wearing question so thank guys for tuning in i love you all have a wonderful day and enjoy your weekend bye